How to outsmart customer service. When you talk to a service rep, you can't always get what you want unless you follow these tips. You will need a pen and paper, information for the call, a speakerphone or headset, patience, and an even temper. Optional, a computer with internet access. Step one, prepare for the call by gathering all the information you need, like account numbers, receipts, and statements. Write out a list of issues so you can explain them concisely and keep a pen and pad handy. Consider using a headset or speakerphone to reduce neck strain during the call. Step two, get a person on the line by following the prompts. In most cases, saying agent, operator, or representative will transfer you to a live person. No matter what your issue is, always opt to speak with an actual person. Type bypass IVR into a search engine to learn tips and tricks to speed through automated phone systems. Step three, once a person is on the line, use positive reinforcement. Start with a small complaint. Once they've resolved that, tell them you're so pleased with their service you'd like to write a positive review. Write down contact information for them and their supervisor, and then move on to addressing the larger issue. Step four, politely and directly explain your issue several times. If you're still getting nowhere, ask to speak to a supervisor and explain the problem to them. Use the service rep's name a few times in the conversation to show you're paying attention and view them as a person, not an enemy. Step five, if the service rep insists there's no need to talk to a supervisor, keep them on the line as long as possible. Because call centers try to maintain a high call per hour volume, a supervisor may see the call has lasted too long and take it over to find a solution to your problem and get you off the line. Step six, hang up and try again. A different representative or supervisor may be more responsive to your request, especially if you mention that you just called and got no help. Don't threaten to take your business elsewhere. Instead, focus on your loyalty and customer history. Step seven, if you're still not satisfied, ask to speak to the supervisor's boss, taking care to remain calm and collected and cordial if you can. If that doesn't work, Get an email address or phone number for the company's corporate office, where you can air your grievances with someone who is more concerned with customer retention than calls per hour. Did you know a recent survey found that 70% of consumers experienced rage toward a company in the last 12 months?